Number 10. The Mask of Alexander Pedden The mask was first discovered in the 1840s in a small cottage in Cumnock, Scotland. This grim family heirloom was a crude mixture of leather, human hair, and even human teeth. While this mask can, without a doubt, fuel nightmares, it did play a very important role for its original owner. Alexander Sandy Pedden, also known as the Prophet of the Covenant, was born in Ayrshire, Scotland, around 1626. He went to Glasgow University before becoming minister in New Luce in 1659. Unfortunately for Pedden, only two short years after becoming minister, the Stuart Restoration of 1661 hit the British Isles, forcing Pedden to leave his beloved church behind. He later went on to become a field preacher, speaking out against the English crown. He became the best field preacher in all of Scotland. In turn, this made Pedden a very wanted man by the government. Pedden wore this horrifying mask to protect his identity from soldiers who were looking for him and keep preaching out against what he saw as injustice to the Scottish people. This unfortunately didn't work for long, as Pedden later had to flee to Ireland to escape the English military and the laws. Pedden went back and forth from Scotland to Ireland a number of times before dying in 1686. A little under two months later, the English crown sent troops to dig up his body and rebury it two miles away as one last act of disrespect on his name and memory. Number 9. The House Full of Bones We've all had a nightmare or two of finding something terrifying lurking in your home. Maybe even in the dead of night, you've heard something knocking, trying to get you to let it in. Well, in July of 2013, a contractor tasked with cleaning out an abandoned house in Poughkeepsie, New York, made a gruesome discovery behind a false wall in the basement. He found the remains of a woman named Joanne Nichols. Her skeleton was found sealed in a large plastic bin, covered in plastic wrap and wrapped in a sheet. Her hands were tied tight with rope and there was visible blunt force trauma to the side of her head. The only way police were able to identify her was through dental records. Her late husband, James Nichols, reported Joanne missing on the 21st of November 1985 after she failed to show up for her hair appointment. The police launched an intense investigation in which they didn't find anything. James was found dead in his home in December of 2012 of natural causes. And since the discovery of Joanne's remains, James has been a suspect in the murder case. While this case remains cold to this day, it makes you wonder what secrets your house might be hiding. Number 8. Headless Axe Murderer The year is 1979, and deep underground in a network of volcanic caves, a family hunting for arrowheads discovered a man's headless torso in eastern Idaho. The torso belonged to a bootlegger and axe murderer by the name of Joseph Henry Loveless. Talk about a family outing. Loveless died sometime during the spring-summer of 1916 after escaping jail. Besides the smuggling and selling of illegal liquor, he brutally murdered his wife by beating her brains out with an axe, in the words of a local newspaper at the time. His mummified hand was later found on March 30, 1991, by an 11-year-old girl exploring the same cave where Loveless's body was found. This tipped off officials to search more thoroughly throughout the area, and found later his arm and both legs. Researchers and students from Idaho State University spent months looking for his head, but they could never find it. However, it wasn't until January of 2020, his remains could be identified via the DNA Doe Project, a project to use genetics to help identify John Doe's. Loveless's body, or what was left of it, was almost perfectly preserved due to the cold conditions in the cave. Even his socks were perfectly intact. Officials even found his 87-year-old grandson in California to compare DNA with. Now, if he was the axe murderer, why was he cut into pieces? While authorities can't say with any degree of certainty, one of the researchers working on the case has a theory. His ex-wife's family was in town to collect her body right around the time Loveless broke out of jail, put two and two together, and that makes for a few more than just two pieces in a cave. Number 7. The 2,000-year-old cold case, the old Crowan man. This one is for the true crime fans out there a 2,000-year-old possible murder case in Ireland. Meet the Old Crone Man, a bog-preserved torso with arms, found in 2003 near Crone Hill in County Offaly, not too far from Dublin. The Old Crone Man, or what was left of him, provided researchers with some rather specific evidence as to who he was. He stood at roughly 6 foot 5, and his body presented little to no signs of having worked in physical labor, showing that he was most likely a member of upper society and maybe even a pretty big deal during his time. 
in the area he was found. This theory is further backed up by the chemical analysis of his remaining hair and nails that showed that his diet was rich in meat, a rare luxury during that time. From here, the theory does become murky, as the state of his remains could be described as overkill to say the least. There was a slash in his upper left arm, which researchers believe is a defensive wound. The wound was stitched up with hazel branches, but he was still stabbed in the chest, neck, decapitated, and eventually cut in half. Eamon P. Kelly, a keeper of Irish antiquities at the National Museum of Ireland, suggested that the old crone man wasn't murdered at all, but rather he was sacrificed. He believed he was a failed king or a failed candidate for kingship, who was likely killed and placed in a bog that formed important tribal boundaries. The old crow and nipples were cut. Sucking a king's nipples in ancient Ireland was a gesture of submission, and cutting them would have made him incapable of kingship. His body may have served as an offering to the goddess of the land. According to Kelly, his multiple injuries may reflect the belief that the goddess was not only one of the land of fertility, but also of sovereignty, war, and death, Kelly said. By using a range of methods to kill the victim, the ancient Irish sacrificed to the goddess in all her forms. What do you think? Was this guy violently murdered or was he sacrificed? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 6. Dark Matter We've all wondered how the universe fits together, how it works in the way that the cosmic pinwheels of galaxies do. Well, for that, we have to thank Dark Matter. While Dark Matter isn't creepy in the traditional sense, it's more of an existential flavor of creepiness. First theorized in the 1930s, and then later confirmed to be an accepted theory in the scientific community in the 1980s, researchers are fairly certain that dark matter is the glue that holds galaxies together. Well, maybe. NASA researchers are more sure of what it isn't rather than what it is. What they do know is that a mathematical model that would work to show the composition of a universe falls into something like this. 68% dark energy, 27% dark matter, 5% normal matter. Without getting too into the realm of astrophysics, here's what NASA knows dark matter is not. It's not just invisible normal matter, as there are gravitational waves that don't line up with our known models of normal matter. It's not galaxy-sized black holes, as light doesn't bend around the area of study, as light tends to do around black holes. Dark matter gets a spot on this list because of this lack of understanding of what this stuff is, and most importantly, what it can or can't do. Do you have any theories on the possibilities of dark matter? Let us know your thoughts down below. Number 5. Pit of Death In eastern France, a literal pit of gruesome violence was uncovered in 2012. Originally found in Bergheim, France, just west of the border with Germany, the bodies of two men, one woman, Four children and one infant's skull, dating back to roughly 6,000 years ago, were discovered. The bodies were piled in a pit that already contained a collection of left arms, is soon to be hacked off by axes or other sharp tools. Researchers are not sure if the left arms were targeted for a particular reason, but some believe they may have been taken as trophies. At the bottom of the pit, there were scattered hand bones, suggesting that the hands from the severed limbs had been deliberately cut into little pieces, even more gruesome was that no one knew where the rest of the bodies that were missing these limbs were. The full skeletons in the pit all had their arms intact. However, the researchers studying the site are starting to believe that these pits and this style of corpse disposal was much more common in ancient Europe than previously believed. Closer inspections of human bones previously found in circular pits like this elsewhere in Europe will reveal additional details of violent deaths from a time when conflicts occurred between some communities. Some of these conflicts were more violent than others. Some researchers simply regard these pits as ancient storage silos that were put to other uses. Others argue that most pits were dug as graves for individuals of higher status whose servants or relatives were killed to accompany them into the afterlife. Or perhaps slaves might have been killed and put in the pits as displays of wealth or as sacrifices to the gods. The more archaeologists keep digging around in ancient places, the more we'll discover about the past of our ancestors. Number 4. The Big Fin Squid or Magna Pinidae With only 5% of the Earth's water explored, it remains much of a mystery as to what lurks in the pitch black depths of the ocean. The few creatures that we have found are generally considered otherworldly. With the exception of the Big Fin Squid or Magna Pinidae, 
while it looks like something from the darkest nightmares of an alien, this is indeed a real creature that lives around 12,000 feet below the surface. First found in a fisherman's net off the coast of Portugal in 1905, we know almost nothing about these mysterious underwater critters. Researchers know very little about them. In only the 12 total sightings we've seen in our recorded history, we've only ever found juveniles, so we don't even know how big they get. Researchers were able to measure one specimen using underwater lasers. It measured 5.9 feet, with the body being about 6 inches. To make matters even stranger, there have been sightings from Portugal to Brazil to Australia, meaning that if you live near the coast, there's a likelihood that you're boating right over the top of a group of these out-of-this-world beings. Number 3. Ancient Mustard Gas Warfare is usually a messy, scary business, especially if you mix in chemicals that can blind, choke, and kill. Normally, when we think about chemical warfare, we think of the trenches of World War I, mustard gas, and gas masks. Well, the history of chemical warfare actually goes back way further. The earliest evidence goes all the way back to 256 CE in Dura Europos, or what's now eastern Syria. Discovered in 2009 by British archaeologists, a tomb of 20 Roman soldiers was found with residues of sulfur crystals and bitumen, which when burned can turn the mucus into human lungs to acid. The Syrians were attempting to take the city back from the Romans by digging tunnels to secretly bring in more troops. The Romans countered by digging their own tunnels and in turn exposed themselves to the Syrians. The Syrians lit a toxic fire and blocked off the exits of the Roman tunnels. They died breathing the fumes of hell noted one of the British researchers. Number 2. Zombie Worm or Osidax Despite the name, the zombie worm or the Osidax doesn't actually crave brains. Well, at least not at first. First discovered in 2002, the 1-3 to three inch worms live at a depth of 10,000 feet under the ocean and they really blur the lines of understanding when it comes to animals. First things first, they feast on the bones of any animal, from grey whales to fish to even cows that fall off ships or get tossed into the seven seas. However, without a mouth or stomach, they eat in a truly disgusting and horrific way. These zombie worms secrete an acid from their skin to dissolve the bones into the world's worst slurpee. And the bactrim in the worms' bodies sucks it up through their pores and then somehow transfer the energy and nutrients to the worm. Researchers still don't understand how they get any nutrients from the bones but the worms don't seem to care too much about what researchers think. The strangest part of this worm is that the females are the only ones eating any of the bones. The microscopic males simply live inside the female and feed on whatever she's feeding on. One female was observed with over 110 males living inside her. Talk about clingy boyfriends. Number 1. Shigir Idol The Shigir Idol is the oldest known piece of ritual art. It's a sinister 9-foot-tall wooden totem pole. It's over 11,600 years old, making it thousands of years older than the pyramids and Stonehenge. It has baffled researchers and archaeologists since it was first discovered in 1890, dug out of a peat bog by gold miners in Russia. The relic, or what's left of it, is carved from a massive slab of freshly cut larch. Geometric patterns are scattered all over it, and eight human faces, each with slashes for eyes, it seemed to peer out at whoever is gazing upon it. The idol has raised more questions than answers when it comes to the true nature of the past. No one who comes into contact with the idol has ever felt a sense of peace when looking at it. Thomas Turberger, an archaeologist and head of research at the Department of Cultural Heritage for Lower Saxony in Germany, had this to say about the nature of the carving. Whether it screams or shouts or sings, it projects authority, possibly malevolent authority. It's not immediately a friend of yours much less an ancient friend of yours. Thanks for watching. Which one of these discoveries was the creepiest to you? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.